the service, where we go before the Lord in prayer. You know we got a lot of people sick, but we're going to remember Sister Sabrina, she's not doing very well, she's in serious condition, she's still in the hospital, and then everything is in the hands of the Lord. Oh, yes, man, uh, we have a moment right now where we can put up a petition before the Lord, and uh, like I said this morning in the Spanish service, we got a very good service this morning. And we have a space where we can pray and ask the Lord for whatever we need. But then when we get through that, we have to thank the Lord and praise his name for whatever he's doing to us. And when we do everything in order and with the spirit of the Lord, God will answer our prayers. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. That's a sort of must need to know what we're doing in the church. We don't do it because we want to be seen or we want to be the know it all, but we, we know what is our need. Oh, we come before the Lord with a need and He answers our prayers. Oh, yes. But after that, we can receive the Word of God, put Him in our heart, and with the knowledge of God, we can come into this place oh, yes. and worship His name. God, Thank man. Him for everything what He's doing to us. Yes. Remember Sister Sabrina, like I say, and I, you know Sister May, she had three accidents in very short time. And she's not doing very well herself, even she thinks she's doing really well, but she's not. And uh, I want to call into the sisters of the church here that if somebody has a time to go over to her house and help her to clean, to do some things in the house, because she can't do absolutely just about nothing. And I know she needs the help of one of the sisters, and that's why we're here, to help one another. If I can help, I will help myself too to her. I know you all received this little letter, which is very interesting from Brother Marlos. And you know he's traveling. Last week, he was so busy himself that I was thinking to myself, I don't know how can he do it at all what he's doing. Last Thursday, we got a baptism of waters in the river. We got Sister Sarah, Brother Paco's daughter, baptized. Brother Paolo was baptized in there too. And you know, when the presence of the Lord is, everything is all right. Oh, hallelujah! And we feel the presence of the Lord in yeah. the river when we were baptizing brother, brother, and brother, and sister, and your brother. Amen, brother. And after that, myself, I took a little bath and I went into Bible study. Seven o'clock with Brother Andy Cyrus. Friday, Brother Muller was busy all day. And then he was here with the Haitian families in the meeting, which we had such a wonderful meeting Friday that encouraged me to see that my brothers Haitians, they want to go on with the Lord, and they're going to create a group in here. It's going to be a very strong group in the church. But what I'm saying is Brother Mulder is involved in all the things. Let's pray for Brother Mulder. He said, Anna is going, doing the work of the Lord, helping Brother Reynolds over there. And that's his desire, to help the people of God, no matter where they are. But let's pray so the Lord can give him his strength. Because he's going to need all the strength possible that the Lord can give him. He's not feeling at the best, but I know the Lord can help him. We got a prayer request in here for him. Teresa Frazier. The family. We got a baby which is still in ICU in Tampa General. She requests prayer for the baby from the family. We're going to pray for it. The Lord is going to take care of the baby. And uh, we trust in the Lord. That's what I said. We got this space here. Oh, yes. so we can come before the Lord and ask him to help us with all our needs. We're going to pass for the little baby so the Lord can take care of him. God knows what is in his life and his future. I'll be one of the greatest preachers in the world. And God is the only one who can do all the things. We got a few people for the first time, I believe, in the church today here. Uh, Debbie Ives. Debbie? That's for the first time you're here, right? Hayes. Debbie? Hayes. Debbie Hayes. Uh -huh. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to the church. Uh, we got your address, so 
if you allow for us to visit you, we will visit you, and then we can be acquainted with you. <clears throat> but we want you to be at home. We want you to feel the presence of the Lord in this place, because we like to feel the Spirit of God in the church. And then we got every foster. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Welcome to the church. It's the first time in here also, too. I believe it's from the town here, and from the John, Brother John Barry and the Lord's Chris Chisholm. So God bless you. God bless you. Yes. I hope we can see you back again in church here. And then we got Kayla Crew. Over here. Oh, God bless you. First time in here. Good. And then we got uh, Robert Rick. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And last but not the least, brother, I can pronounce this name. Could you pronounce this name? Go to Sidwell. Go to Sidwell. 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 Okay. She is a pastor from Haiti. So God bless you, my brother. You all welcome into the church. Et vous bienvenue à l'église. Okay, merci à vous. Thank you so much. God bless you. Okay. All right, we're going to give him a little space. Yes. You want to speak something, brother? Brother Bernard. Brother Bernard, why don't you help him? Because. I don't know if we will understand the question. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel